So McDonald's reported 317 versus three, uh, three dollars estimates, 6.6 .6 billion versus 6.5 billion in revenues. Comps were 8.8 percent .8 versus tax set at eight. Um, this the the commentary from the CEO was the macro economic environment is unfolding in line with our expectations for the year. I say that because he's been bearish for, you know, expecting a recession for the most part uh, since I think fourth quarter of last year, but notably, so the comps in the U S were a eight point, I'm sorry, 8.1%. Right. And in the coming, we, we, moved the stock from long to short during the quarter because traffic went negative and yes in fact traffic went negative so not a, not a great outlook because you know you've had leisure carrying this group for for so long and now we're seeing deceleration there but it's not being offset by any kind of recovery in business transient travel and that's that's a problem that's a profitable traveler uh, for the space so not looking good we'll stay negative on most of the hotel complex Number one question, you know, just thinking back to the call this morning, um, after Howard and Todd went, you were like, <laughs> you sort of got, I don't know if this is the right way to characterize it, incrementally bearish, or you're like, okay, well, because, you know, they both, you know, Howard was talking about McDonald's, which obviously is a bellwether in his sector, and, you know, talking about, you know, how the low end consumer is struggling, and then we had Todd next to him. But I guess, you know, I'm just kind of curious what your takeaway from that. Part of the conversation was and yeah it's um it's a it's an interesting thing because you know i've worked with these guys and with you for that matter for a long long time now and when they have their tone change like mine just did this is by the way how i talk to normal human beings which you're all normal uh it's just that i'm not normal when i'm doing this in the morning when i have to sing the song but um i know you're gonna you're gonna empathize with me on that but when i hear them do that it's just like they're not even it's not even fair anymore like for months, I mean, since, you know, really since July, Penny kept saying, this is going to end the way I think it's going to end, with very negative uh, restaurant traffic and negative sales, negative stock performance. Todd Jordan said the same thing about business travel, transient travel, you know, individual travel, and now it's all happening. McGough, same thing. He was the same way. It's like, they're all like, it's boring. Everything's working now. I mean, look at a chart of McDonald's. Look at a chart of Marriott. Look at a chart of Pebblebrook. Uh, that's what we we're talking about PEB, which got absolutely pounded on Friday because the management team said what part of what we said. Now, a lot of these management teams aren't talking about a recession yet, but they're definitely talking about a slowdown. You know, and this is what the earnings bulls had dead wrong is that while there was a good quarter against an easy compare for a lot of different things in the third quarter, the guidance for the fourth quarter is nowhere near where they thought it was. And the, and the real concern is the first half of next year when earnings could be much more negative against more, much more difficult compares both for their own compares, uh, in the case of Google's case, or in the case of the government spending comps that really juiced a lot of uh, corporate P&Ls and, and personal incomes uh, in the first quarter of, of this year. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.